Hello. Good morning, everybody. I hope you have a good morning. Sorry, this is afternoon. So today's uh, webinar is going to be about inside bar trading. You remember that at that time we talked about engulfing candles. So what I'd like to say first is that the word inside is actually opposite the word engulfing candle. So whatever we were referring to when we are referring to engulfing candle is exactly inside what you're going to refer to us today as the inside bar so let's start off <coughs> let's start off i'm going to draw for you here what an inside bar is at least you understand perfectly well whatever i mean by an inside bar then we're going to look at how to use it for trading we're going to look at it as a strategy in itself so we clear our charts uh, we clear our charts that we have a clean chart now so if you, if you look at this chart now uh, the way I have a blank screen now if you want to draw a bullish engulf bullish pin inside bar you have to have a green candle a green candle this is the green candle and then there is a tail for this candle which you are drawing now a green candle which has a tail sorry and like that then we do have the next candle which is now opposite the previous one it's red in color so the word red is not exactly opposite like I mean when I say opposite I'm referring to the fact that it's it's not the same size as the other one the high of it is not as high as the previous one and the low of it is not as low as the previous one. So this candle, this is known as the inside bar candle. We are specifically referring to the red candle, the one you are seeing here. It's the one which I'm calling the inside bar candle. So whenever you see something like this, that the previous candle was a big red, green candle, then the next candle, which is this, is actually, this next candle is it's not as big as the previous one it's not as like it's not in all aspects considering the body the high of it is pretty much inside the previous candle that means we are inside this bigger candle and what that implies is that the price may likely continue upwards from the next candle so if, if you find anything like this if you find a candle which looks like this this setup where there's a green candle then the next candle is red but the high which is this this high is not as high as the high of the previous one here yeah. and the low of this candle is very low compared to the low of this candle this becomes an inside bar candle and what it means as i've said is that the price may likely continue to the upper side so if you look at this chart and if you see something which looks like this then just know that we are somehow heading to the upper side so you're supposed to keep looking for buy positions and with all the buy positions have a pending buy limit here buy stop sorry you can have a pending buy stop here at the high of this candle then have your stop loss below the low of the mother candle which is this and then your take profit should be at least the size of the body of this candle, which is this. So, so some people may say that the price you, you may only take profit at half the size of the larger candle, but from my experience, the price tends to move up at least the size of the bigger candle. So if you have we have like this is like a 3357, 3357, 33 here, some here. 33 should be somewhere around there. So that is there. Just a second. Yes, so it should be somewhere there. So we take we have our pending buy stop at this point, and then we have our stop loss at this point. Then we have our track profit at the distance which is equal to the size of the mother bar. So that's how basically that's how I look at inside candles. If you want to trade these candles correctly ensure that you are trading them with pending trades not instant trades that is instant means that you'll go to the uh, new order and then open a trade instantly 
but that's not what I'm referring to. You have to trade them with pending trades. That is pending buy stop and pending sell stop. So this example is actually a bullish inside bar. Bullish. Bullish. Inside. Inside bar. And it means we are upwards. In just a second, you will see that on your screen now. This is what I was writing. So this is bullish inside bar. What it means is that we are upwards. We do expect price to continue upwards. And how we buy it? Uh, buy stop place. A buy stop. A buy stop. At the high of the mother bar. Of the mother bar. When I when I call when I mention the word mother bar, I'm actually referring to the high of this green candle. That's why you press the buy stop, and then your stop loss. Stop loss. Stop loss should be below the law of the mother bar. The law of the mother bar. Mother bar. So this is this is this is like a, a simple note. This is this is the, the thing supposed to understand very well that you'll buy it you'll buy it at this price the high of this candle you have your stop loss below the low of this candle and then you have your take profit at the high of this candle so the, not that the, you the take profit should be the same distance as the size of this candle sorry so the take profit take profit take profit is equal equal to the equal to the size of the mother bar equal to the size of the mother bar so i hope this explains it this explains uh, whatever whatever I'm, I'm referring to by an inside bar this is precisely how you define an inside bar and this is roughly how you're supposed to place the stop loss i mean how you where you're supposed to enter the trade where you're supposed to have your stop loss and where you're supposed to have your take profit so let's now move forward let's now look at uh, the bearish inside bar candle so bearish is opposite is opposite uh, the the one you've looked at it's opposite the bullish inside bar and it starts by first looking at a big red candle like that like that and the next candle which follows the red candle is actually green in color it is green in color So uh, just the same way we, de we defined the bullish inside bar, you, you can see that with the bearish inside bar, the low of the inside candle is actually above the low of the mother candle. And the high of the inside candle is below the high of the mother candle. Then if you look at the body size, you can see that the inside candle is actually smaller compared to the previous candle, the mother candle. So as we mentioned with the bullish inside candle, we do have a sell limit here, sell stop. So instead of selling instantly after you've seen this candle, place a pending sell stop here. Have your stop loss above the high of the mother bar, which is somewhere here. And your take profit should be the same distance as the size of the mother candle, which is this. So if the mother candle maybe is 50 pips from this point to this point, less the, the distance, ensure that the 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 take profit is also the same distance, which means the take profit should be somewhere here. So we'll have we'll have a sell, we'll have a sell stop. Sorry, let's put this correct. We have a sell stop here. We'll have our take profit there. 
we have our stop loss above this level here. So if you sell it there successfully, you'll have your, you'll have your, most probably the price may likely move up to the support which you have at around 16.4955. So this is not entirely a support. This is just the place where we take profit from. So the few, few rules on this one. This is a sell inside candle. This is a bearish inside candle. Bearish inside candle. This is a bearish inside candle. And then how we, how we use it for entry? Uh, we have place a pending. Sell limit at the low of the mother bar. At the low of the mother bar, that's the first thing you have to place a pending sell limit at the low of the mother bar, and then the next thing your stop loss should be at the high of the mother bar stop loss. Stop loss should be should be at the high of the mother bar stop loss should be at the high of the mother bar that's the first thing and then the next thing take profit should be the same size as take profit take profit should be should be at should be the same size as the size of the mother bar. should be the same size the same size as the size the size of the mother bar. so you'll see what I'm whatever I'm typing just in a bit size of the mother bar. So this is this is these are some of the few rules which I, I look at, especially when I'm trading the inside bar candle. As I mentioned before, this these are these are one of my best strategies, inside bar and engulfing candles, and I also do a lot of pin bar trading. So this is how I basically trade inside bar. The the best way the, the, the best way to look at this is whenever the inside bar appears, that's when you see an inside bar, ensure that the mother bar which is this was actually breaking below a significant support so if, if if you have a support that's the price open here and closed here then the price tried coming back to this level but cannot break beyond it then this becomes a very good place it's like a confirmation that we are now continuing downwards so the, the mother bar is not only big the mother the mother bar is not only big but it's also breaking below a significant support if that happens then that is a good sign that somehow we are continuing to the lower side. Is that clear? So whenever whenever you have an inside candle, ensure that this mother bar was actually breaking below a significant support to the lower side. And what that means is we are likely to see a continuation to the lower side. So let's, let's look at the other example, which is this. This is bullish inside candle. Yes, this is bullish, which meant we are upwards. So with this, with the bullish one, we have this, we have the stop loss here, and then you have the take profit. It should be the same size as the body size of the, sorry, the high and the low of the mother bar. So as I said with the, with the bearish and inside candle, whenever you have this big green candle, and then the next candle is an inside candle, ensure that this bullish candle was actually breaking above a level that is we have a level there the price has opened here closed above this level the next candle opens around the same place tries to go back below this level but ends up above this level so this this is not only an inside bar but it's like a retracement which gives you the correct opportunity to look for a buy so you'll have a pending buy stop here your take profit should be at the same place. Your stop loss should be at the same place. Is that correct? 
yes i hope i hope that makes some sense so we'll have to wrap it up there i think that that's enough lesson for today i uh, will meet again next week at the same time so thank you see you